welcome to the love of food so you all know that I'm an amateur cook right I just like trying everybody's recipes and one of my favorite chefs is Vivian Howard if you haven't uh, watched her uh, show that she has on PBS called a chef's life you need to watch that she has ended all the seasons but you can uh, watch all the reruns they're great um, look her up, look at her recipes. She's from here in North Carolina, Eastern North Carolina, and that's her story. Um, she learned from some of the greatest chefs in New York. So I went to her book signing and, and she signed my book. All right, so um, I'm going to be taking one of her recipes today and modifying it ever so slightly for what we like. So what we're gonna cook is called the sweet potato and turkey oh. shepherd's pie. I want to show you some of the ingredients that we'll be using today in our shepherd's pie made with sweet potato and turkey. So of course we're going to be using turkey. And my variation on the recipe from Vivian Howard is that I'm using green bell pepper. It's the fall here in the south. My pepper plant is still producing. So you're gonna see green pepper show up in a lot of things. And we've got to use all of those up and take advantage of our local, fresh, homegrown ingredients. The other things that Vivian uh, calls for in her recipe uh, are chipotle pepper, ground cumin, this ground turmeric, smoked paprika, which we have here, uh, and salt, of course. Now, she calls uh, in her recipe for tomato sauce. I don't have tomato sauce, so we're just going to use a can of tomato paste and some water, which will give me the same effect. On the stove, and I'll try not to make you dizzy as I turn around here, we have our sweet potatoes, which have been boiling. I think I showed you those. And, of course, our onions that we've sweated out. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding those bell peppers into those onions and we'll be back in just a few moments. All right, so we drained our sweet potato and now we're just going to mash it up with a little bit of butter. We could put, drop some salt and pepper in there if we wanted to. We might do that in the end just to give it a little bit more flavor. I love sweet potatoes because they just are so good just on their own. Just with a tiny pat of butter, you don't even have to put a lot in. Of course, if you put a lot in, it makes it even better in my book, but I'm somebody who happens to really like butter. So I'm just gonna mash these until I know they're not lumpy anymore. This is a very rustic uh, casserole, so if you have a little bit of uh, texture to them, that's gonna be absolutely fine. And the whole idea is to mix those two flavors of that uh, sweet potato and that turkey together. All right, I'm gonna drop in some salt. And as I said, you could use pepper too. I'm gonna go ahead and put in a little bit of this chipotle chili pepper right in the potatoes. I think that might make it interesting. And that's the idea with food. Just have fun with it. Don't be afraid to, you know, veer off from a recipe. Uh, as I said, I veered off from Vivian's recipe. Um, hers did not call for the green pepper. Hers called for tomato sauce, and I made some tomato sauce out of tomato paste and water. Just put the can of tomato paste in there and mixed in about a cup of water. I'm just stirring to make sure all the lumps are gone. Now, over here, I'll turn just so that you can see show you what we got going on the stove. Over here, we've added our turkey meat. Let's do a little bit better. So we added it right to the same pan. And all I did was push the onions and the green pepper off to the side. I added in a clove of garlic to give this some flavor. And when that turkey meat, and also by the way, I turned the heat up because you wanna turn the heat up when you're browning meat. You don't want to leave it like as low as when you're sweating the onions. And so when this meat is all browned, we'll be able to add that meat to the bottom of our casserole dishes. 
Then we will layer it with whatever we want to layer it with. We can add the spinach like Vivian's uh, recipe called for. We don't have to because I have green in here with the green pepper, but we might want to. That might make it a little bit more interesting. Um, you could add in another green vegetable. If you're not a spinach fan, you could add in a can of green beans. It's all up to you of how you want to make this. And actually, I think I have some French style green beans. So I think that would be a fun layer in this turkey shepherd's pie, or turkey casserole, as what it's called as well. Hi y'all. I just checked Vivian's recipe to look at what the amounts were that I needed for each one of my um, spices. And I failed to realize that she says you should add a quarter cup of brown sugar to your sweet potatoes when they're still hot and to be to cook those in. I'm going to go ahead and just add that right in to my mashed sweet potatoes that we have down here. And then we're just going to go ahead and just add that in and mix that around. I believe that it will, um, since my potatoes are still warm, it'll cook in there very nicely and I think it'll be fine. So again, that's the other thing about cooking. It wasn't perfect. I forgot something, but that's okay. We can just find another way to add it in. So the whole idea, since we are going to be making this our own based on an adaptation of her recipe, we can do it any way that we like. All right, I'll be back in just a couple of minutes here and we'll add in all of our spices to our meats. I'm gonna show you as we do that, the amounts that I'm talking about. And uh, we're going to try and follow Vivian's lead on that and see how everything comes out. All right, now you can see that my meat is browning up nicely. The trick here is to keep it from sticking to the bottom of the pan. I like it to get a little bit of that char on some of the pieces because that char actually adds a little bit of flavor when you're working with turkey. So we're going to go ahead and add in our spices now, a teaspoon of chipotle powder. So we're going to go ahead and put that right in. Two teaspoons of the paprika. There we go. One and two. It also calls for two teaspoons of the cumin. One and two. And don't forget that smoked paprika. That smoked paprika is going to be one, two. All right, now we're going to add in our salt. She calls for a teaspoon of salt. We're going to put in some black pepper as well. And then remember that tomato sauce that we did? I'm going to add that tomato sauce right in to this pan. I'm going to let that all cook down. Now, with that tomato sauce, she says you should add a cup of water as well. So once I get that in there, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of water to my pan. And see how that tomato sauce cleared off my pan really nicely? So all those little brown bits of flavor, those are all in there now. This smells wonderful. It's spicy smelling, almost like a chili with all that chipotle flavor in there. But I'm thinking with the sweet of the sweet potato and that brown sugar that we added in, this is going to be a really nice casserole. Very different flavors and something that you can have on a nice fall night. So let's go ahead and add some more water. And just let that all cook down. There we go. I wish, again, I say this all the time, I wish that we had smell-o-vision. I wish somebody would invent that. Because right about now, you'd be getting those aromas of that chipotle and the sweet paprika. It's making me hungry as I stir this. Just understanding 
those flavors. Now, if you don't want it as spicy, again, just cut back, right? Use half the amount. Try anything that you want to make this your own dish. All right, we're gonna let that cook for just a few minutes. We're gonna let all the flavors come together. And then our last step is just assembling the casserole. All right, so we're back and we're getting ready to assemble our casseroles. All I did was just take that meat out of that pan and put it into my two separate casseroles. We said we were gonna use green beans. I have these French style cut green beans. So we're gonna spread these through. So that makes our dish even healthier. So we have our green vegetables in here. If you're a mom and you're looking to make a healthy option for your family, this is it. Now again, Vivian's called for spinach. Sometimes spinach is a good one to use. But can I tell you, I got these canned green beans for 30 cents a piece on sale. That's why I'm using them up. Also, the turkey meat. I got that for $2 a pound. So this cost me $2.50 to make this casserole minus the sweet potato. So let's talk about that, the sweet potato. Sweet potatoes in the fall, in the south, go on sale. These were 48 cents a potato. I've used four sweet potatoes, two of which I had already bought, so I needed to use them up, so as to not waste anything. So what did this meal really cost me? So the $2 for the turkey meat, $2 for all the rest of the ingredients, I made this casserole, this healthy, flavorful turkey casserole, each for $4. And so I'm feeding myself, my husband, more than one meal, this is several meals, and my neighbor and his wife for $8. So you think you can't entertain because you don't have a lot of money? Think again. Anybody can make this dish. This is a great one to be able to put together for a weeknight. Um, if you're having maybe guests over for a Bible study, um, maybe you're having um, some folks just uh, get together after Halloween, after the kids trick or treat. You could sit down and have a nice casserole with some of your friends while the kids play in the other room. There's a lot of times when a casserole just seems to come in handy. Now the question you're gonna ask is, will it freeze? I don't know. I've never tried to freeze it. I would think that maybe you could, but I'm gonna go with best to serve it fresh. So what I will do at the very end of this is I'm gonna sprinkle some Parmigiano Reggiano over the top of this. And when I'm ready, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bake these. And for about, at 350 for about 40 minutes, 35 maybe 40 minutes, it will depend on how warm it gets all the way through. And again, quick, easy, a meal if your kids play sports. You can make this up on the weekend. Um, you and your husband work late. You can just come home and pop this in the oven. So it's an easy one, very inexpensive, healthy, fresh meal. And we adapted it from one of our favorite chefs, Vivian Howard. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put on the Parmigiano Reggiano and just pop these into the refrigerator um, for now. I wanted to thank you today for watching For the Love of Food, and as always, I'll post the recipe that we made on the website.